Welcome to our channel, where we explore the fascinating world of Catholicism. Today, we're going to talk about five Catholic saints that you probably didn't know about. The Catholic Church has a rich history of saints, and while some of them are well known, others have been forgotten over time. Let's take a look at some of these lesser known saints. Saint Kateri Tekakwitha, also known as the Lily of the Mohawks, was a Native American woman who lived in the 17th century. She was born in 1656 in what is now upstate New York, and was the daughter of a Mohawk chief and a Christian Algonquin woman. When she was four years old, her parents and younger brother died of smallpox, and Kateri was left with scars on her face and impaired vision. Kateri was raised by her uncle, who was the new chief of the Mohawk tribe. Despite her uncle's objections, Kateri was drawn to Christianity and was baptized at the age of 20 by a Jesuit missionary. She faced persecution from her tribe for her conversion and eventually fled to a Christian settlement in Canada, where she lived with other Native American converts. Kateri lived a life of extreme devotion to God, spending hours in prayer and fasting. She was known for her humility, kindness, and love for nature. She died at the age of 24 in 1680 and was buried in a Christian cemetery. Miracles were reported at her grave, and she was eventually canonized as a saint by the Catholic Church in 2012. Today, Saint Kateri Tekakwitha is recognized as the patron saint of ecology and the environment and is revered by Native American Catholics as a symbol of the intersection between their traditional beliefs and the Catholic faith. Saint Josephine Bakita was a Sudanese woman who lived in the late 19th and early 20th centuries. She was born in 1869 in Darfur, Sudan, and was kidnapped at the age of seven by Arab slave traders. She was sold and resold several times and was subjected to physical and emotional abuse by her captors. In 1883, Bakita was sold to an Italian consul who took her with him to Italy. There, she was given to a family as a gift and worked as a nanny and maid. She was eventually taken in by a group of Canossian sisters who introduced her to the Catholic faith. Bakita was baptized in 1890 and took the name Josephine. Bakita felt a calling to religious life and joined the Canossian sisters in 1893. She spent the rest of her life serving as a nun, working with the poor and sick. She was known for her kindness, humility, and forgiveness and was beloved by those who knew her. Bakita died in 1947 at the age of 78 and was canonized as a saint by the Catholic Church in 2000. She is now recognized as the patron saint of victims of human trafficking and is celebrated for her resilience and faith in the face of adversity. Saint John of God, also known as Juan de Dios, was a 16th century Portuguese man who lived in Spain. He was born in 1495 in Portugal and spent much of his early life as a soldier, fighting in various wars throughout Europe and Africa. In 1537, John had a religious conversion experience and began dedicating his life to serving the poor and sick. He founded the Order of Hospitallers, a religious order that provided medical care to those in need. The order grew rapidly and soon had hospitals and clinics throughout Europe. John was known for his extreme devotion to God and his tireless work on behalf of the sick and poor. He would often carry patients on his back and would beg for food and supplies to support his hospitals. He was also known for his humility and his willingness to do menial tasks, such as cleaning and washing clothes. John died in 1550 at the age of 55, 
and was canonized as a saint by the Catholic Church in 1690. He is now recognized as the patron saint of hospitals and the sick, and is celebrated for his selflessness and compassion. The Order of Hospitallers, which he founded, still exists today and continues to provide medical care to those in need. Saint Margaret of Cortona was an Italian woman who lived in the 13th century. She was born in 1247 in Livino, Tuscany, and was raised by her mother after her father died when she was seven years old. At the age of 17, Margaret fell in love with a young nobleman, and the two began a relationship that lasted for nine years. They had a son together, but were never married. When Margaret's lover was murdered, she was devastated and turned to a life of penance and prayer. She joined the Third Order of St. Francis and spent the rest of her life serving the poor and sick. She founded a hospital in Cortona, Italy, and worked tirelessly to care for those in need. Margaret was known for her deep devotion to God and her love for the poor. She lived a life of extreme poverty and humility, and was often ridiculed and persecuted for her beliefs. She had a reputation for performing miracles, and was beloved by those who knew her. Margaret died in 1297 at the age of 50, and was canonized as a saint by the Catholic Church in 1728. She is now recognized as the patron saint of single mothers, the homeless, and the mentally ill, and is celebrated for her compassion and selflessness. Saint Isidore the Farmer, also known as San Isidro Labrador, was a Spanish man who lived in the 12th century. He was born in Madrid in 1070 and spent much of his life working as a farmer on the estate of a wealthy landowner. Isidore was known for his deep faith and his devotion to God. He would often attend Mass before beginning his work in the fields, and would pray throughout the day as he worked. He was also known for his generosity to the poor, and would often give away his own food and supplies to those in need. Isidore's reputation for holiness grew, and he was eventually canonized as a saint by the Catholic Church. He is now recognized as the patron saint of farmers and laborers, and is celebrated for his humility, hard work, and devotion to God. Many miracles have been attributed to Isidore, including stories of angels helping him with his work in the fields, and of his prayers causing rain to fall during times of drought. He is still venerated in Spain and throughout the world, and his feast day is celebrated on May 15th. And there you have it. We explored the lives of five Catholic saints that you probably didn't know about. These holy men and women inspire us with their lives of faith and virtue.